Right, so last time was doing left turns, wasn't it? Yes. Turning left, and we didn't do any rights today, I don't think. No. no. Um, so today, do you remember, actually going back to last time, the thing that we were working on the most, apart from turns, what are the was this kind of skill that we were working on? Um, clutch control yep. and changing down gear. That's it, that's why we come to this road because this one, um, it's fairly quiet, it's a little dead end. There is no new road here, it loops around, it's a fairly clear road. So what do you think we're going to try on this road to develop clutch control? Because I haven't told you this yet, but what do you think we're going to do down this road? Um, probably try to creep forwards yep. and stop again. That's it, what else can you do after that? where the van is? What could you do, go and do? So you spoke about doing a manoeuvre. So which one do you think we're going to do? So the, are you going to do U-turn? Yep, yeah, that's it. So turning the road is what we're going to look at to begin with. So the plan is for today, we're going to do turning the road, well, clutch control to begin with on this part of the road, just creeping, creeping. We're not bothered about these side roads because these are so quiet, not much ever comes out of these. So we're not going to bother about, you know, we don't want to block them, but you're not bothered if you park quite close to them. Okay. Um, then we'll do turning the road because that's mm -hmm. really just clutch control. Yeah, and once you master clutch control, you can do turning the road quite easily. Then after that we'll do, um, what's the thing, the, the turns left and right. So maybe not right, so we'll do lefts. Because the idea is the clutch control practice on the turn in the road should help you with the end of the road. Because it's all about creeping and creeping. Imagine you're going towards a curb on the right hand side there, when you're creeping towards it. It's the same as when you come to a junction. Not exactly yeah. the same, you know, similar in terms of where you creep and creep and crawl. So, Manny, if you want to get set up and turned on, and uh, we'll go over the cl yeah, clutch control to begin with. It's meant to be neutral when you turn on as well. You yes. can be in one, but it's just you can can jump. Just gonna turn this on the pocket or just falls out. That's better. Right, so first of all just try and find the point where the car balances like we did. Um, we did it last time on that it was a fairly flat road we did it before. We did so, it the time before that on the hill as well. Okay, so trying to find the biting yep. point, leave it so, and leaving this on. Yeah. Yep, so it's all dropping into one. So back into first. It's just you turn on in the truck, but then as soon as you turned on, back into gear. Okay. Just so you don't jump when you turn on. So, bit of gas, bit of clutch. And just let me know when you found that point where it, do you think it's going to hold still. Just a little bit less gas, because it's mainly the clutch this. So, the gas should be like humming like that, that's good, but not too much. Uh, right there? That's that's where that's it. That's good because the first one that was a bit of, it was all right, but it was a bit low. Yeah. Um, but that one you felt the car drop a bit more. Yeah. Um, the revving as well, not a big problem here. But why do you think we don't want to rev too much? Um, Just like in general when you drive. Well, here it's quite flat, isn't it? So we don't yep. need to do as much. That's it. What if you rev though too loudly here? Who could that annoy? And um, all the residents. Yeah, so, and stuff, so yeah. you have to think about that. I know they're not going to half these houses are empty now because when it's been built. But yeah, you have to think about that. If you if you rev too loud, it doesn't annoy everyone. Because um, you know, some, some maniac revving the car outside your house. <laughs> you don't want to. So that's good. So handbrake comes off. Let's see if that stays still. That's good. That's bottom. So how do you make it creep forwards a little bit? Um, so very slowly pull off the clutch that's a it. little bit. That's it. Like a millimetre up. Okay. That's good. Let's creep forward a little bit now. So imagine you're at junction now and clutch down a little bit. You know that junction we had last time, just before the rain stopped us, where it was like a really bad view on that bend, we had a parked car towards the end. Yeah. Imagine now you're there and you need to creep, so creep in a little bit forwards. That's good. Let me pause again there. Now imagine you can't go for a long time and you've got to stop for quite a while. What do you do now? Um, you put the handbrake on. Yep, so you do foot brake, so it's dead still. So brake goes down, that's it. Then the clutch goes down. So brake and clutch, that's it. Mm. Then that back. That's good. And then neutral. That's it. Okay. The idea there is you do the brakes so your car stays dead still. And then your hammer goes on to hold it still. If you do no pedals, I'll just demonstrate that. Because mm -hmm. what you can do is if you're really, really sure of your clutch control, but I wouldn't recommend doing this, you can hold it still. Like that. And if you're totally still, you can just hand back on drop your clutch. The problem is if your foot, foot slips at all while you're doing that, you're going to start moving. So imagine if you're moving forward a little bit and you pull the handbrake on now, what's that going to do to your handbrake? Oh, it's going to do damage it. That's it. it. Yeah. So if you're sure you can do it, but I would never recommend doing that. It's always easier to brake, clutch down. You get like a slight jump, doesn't matter, and the handbrake on. Okay. And that's good. But anyway, so what do you think of that clutch control um, so far? 
it's, 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 it's quite tricky, yeah. isn't it? It's <laughs> good though, that creeping there is nice. That's a nice bit of creeping away. Um, if you want your window down, by the way, the mm -hmm. controls where your side because it needs to come warm today. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to move off and just stop just before the van should be okay. Because <coughs> I think there's a car park, yeah, there's a car park after the van. So, okay. if you pull up on the left, kind of where the long bit of curve is just before the van. We're not too bothered about blocking the driver, but try and avoid blocking them for now. Because there's our one car parked on the left there. Right, okay. Right, so it's normal moving off. I'm um, going to go and, go and do this three point turn, or the turn in the road, as you call it. Um, okay. So I went so much on this, this part of Jukes. It's good you got it down, so it's It's good actually. Mm, just a touch higher. Uh, a little up. bit lower. It's so it pulls, but it does it. You see, it kind of pulls, but it doesn't kind of yank. It doesn't yank the car. When you feel like a sudden moves like that, that's when it's no good. Mm -hmm. That feels calm and smooth, so it's not kind of making a horrible sound. Okay, so come and go. Yeah, I think so. That's good. So I don't need signal no, here. That's good. Okay. That's perfect. Exercise and smooth. Yeah, it would be better without the van there, but we'll make do with that. So just pull up quite close to the van. Okay. Hopefully we'll come out moving a moment. I won't say how, just, just try to creep it so up to the van. Or creep to That's the van. Try not to break through stop dead. I'm just getting lots of wide from that curve. That's it. So you only see almost touching the van, not quite, but almost. Yep, that'll do it, that's fine. And it break, that's it, that's good. So you see there, we only use the brake at the very end. That's the main thing to understand from last time. And then, what do you need before that clutch? Um. Yep, that's it. Because last time was wrong, but because of the rain, it's quite hard to tell. But at the end of the roads, we're saying about do brake, clutch down, but brake off before you stop. So you roll, roll, wait. And then when you get to the end, you hold it still. Mm -hmm. And then you go. Because that's what you just did there. So what you did there is the same thing you do at the end of the road. It's all the same stuff. So, but I'll come back to that in a moment. But for the moment, if you want to turn off just for now. Okay. Let's just go over this um, first manoeuvre. So, um, there are actually seven manoeuvres you can do in total, but you only get three from the test and you're going from, because each test centre has got their own manoeuvres and their own way to do them. So, do you know what the three manoeuvres are? The three sort of normal ones? Um, so, the parallel park? Yep, so you've got, that's it. So, a bit like on the van, although it wouldn't be on the pavement like that, but yeah. so you pull that level back in. What else have you got? Um, so I don't know if it's one of the three main ones, but like the bay park? Yeah, no, I may want to but yeah, some senses you do, this one hasn't got any bays. Mm -hmm. So we might do that, but you don't have to on the test, because there's nowhere to park. So you've got parallel parking, as in next to the van or whatever. Yeah. Um, turning the road you mentioned, we're going to do now. What's the other one, do you know? Um, you have an emergency <coughs> stop as well, don't you? Yeah, but that one isn't a manoeuvre. It's good you mentioned that, it's not a manoeuvre, so that's as well as a manoeuvre. But the other one is the reverse round the corner. Oh. Where you sort of pull it past the corner. A bit like that one there, you'd reverse around the corner behind us. Okay. Just so you know what I'm talking about when we talk about manoeuvres. The other ones you won't do just yet, you pull up on the right hand side of the road and reverse down the road. We might try these because these are new ones coming in from 2017. So at the moment they've been trialled. Uh, the other one is when you drive into a car park, a bit like the one back there, that industrial place. You have, you're asked to drive forward into a bay and then reverse out of the bay. So they're the new manoeuvres. Um, so there are seven in total. Um, but you'll only do three, one of three on the actual test itself. So, turning the road, let's go over this. There isn't much I can draw for this, it's mainly just a case of, of showing you this one. But imagine the road is like that. First of all, why is it called a turn in the road and not a three point turn? Because you might need more than three points. Yeah, that's to do it. it. Yeah. So, you can, I, can't, I do call it myself three point turn quite often because that's normally what it is, but yeah, you can do five. Um, so, what does it mean, a three point turn? What, what's the actual mean, that, that phrase? Um, so it means it takes you three um, like things to do it yep, to actually make it. the turn. That's one. It might sound obvious, but if you don't know what it is, some people don't know what it's called that, and then it helps you understand what you need to be doing. So there are three main things for this one that you've got to do. First thing is clutch control, which we just did about there, so that's the same thing about creeping, creeping. When you do clutch control in this manoeuvre, um, you don't have to have the gas because uh, what's different do you think about that? Because normally we say I move off with the gas and the clutch, but if I blind you with this part of let me know, because when I did that it flashes in your, in your eyes, I've had that this week so far. But um, why don't you need the gas when you do a manoeuvre every single time in every single car? I don't 
I so know. normally on a junction you want to get away, you want to sort of gas clutch go, you want to pull out in traffic. On a manoeuvre you're not bothered about going fast that much, so you can just do the clutch on its own. In this particular car, some cars, most cars, it's better to do gas clutch together, but every car is different. This particular one, just the clutch is okay on this manoeuvre. So you can actually be covering the clutch and the brake, but it's still better on this one because you're on a bit of a hill to be doing a bit of gas and clutch. So we'll go over all that when we do it because there are different ways you can do it. We don't really mind how you do it as long as you do it. So the examiners on the test are not looking at your feet, they don't care if you're on the brake a bit, whatever. It's just that you get it done rather than how you do it. Um, so clutch control is the first thing. Second thing is dry steering. Any idea what that is? Because now we haven't done this, but you might have heard of that. No, no, I've never heard so, of it. So dry steering is when you steer without the car moving. So if you steer the wheel like now, you won't know because it's turned off, but if it was turned on, was it bad if you steer without moving, do you think? Mm. Something mechanical. Yeah, it's going to damage the... Um, well, the, the, the handbrake is holding it, the wheels, isn't it? So you can't... Not the front ones, though. It's a good idea, but not the front. No. It's the first time anyone's ever said that. But, but yeah, so when you turn the wheels at the front, if they're not moving, there's a lot of pressure on them. So the, the gravity's pulling them down. Like now, the ground's... The ground is bone dry as well, so it's very dry, so when you steer, it grinds your tyres away. It also damages your steering, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, I think. It's only a small amount, so we're not too bothered about this, but you should try and move as you're steering. So you try and move forward a little bit. You know how you crept just here with the van? That's the kind of movement you want. So you're not going forward fast, but you're going to creep, creep, crawl. The third thing is the camber. Do you know what the camber is? No, sorry. No. That woman's dressed for the races, <laughs> so she's going to <laughs> horse racing. So the camber is the way the road slopes like that, it's like a hill in the middle. So if you imagine you're lying on the floor drunk or whatever on the road, um, it's a bit like that, so that you're kind of parked here and your car kind of goes over the hill, up the hill, down the hill. So when we talk about the hill, it isn't just this hill, but also that hill, the okay. sideways hill. Um, what effect would that have, do you think, or what problem could that cause when you're doing a manoeuvre like this? Um, so you're going to... If you're trying to turn, you're going to roll more than you yep. might realise That's you're it. going to. That's it. So the thing about steering as well, this will make more sense when you do it. But when you're here, um, one of the probably the biggest thing on this manoeuvre to get it done well is when you go towards a curb like this. What do you think you'll need to do with the steering before you finish the first part of the manoeuvre to make it easier on the second part? So when you've gone forward, you've turned right. Yeah. Are you going to sort of correct it a yep. bit? So take like. Um, so if you've gone the whole way around, come out a bit. Yeah, that's it. So you try and go straight or left as much as you can. So that when you come back, you're already facing that way. You're already going back the way you want to go. The thing with this is, we just said don't turn the wheel when the car's still. But sometimes doing that will make a car move. Because if you're kind of perched on the camber, like there, it's mm. hard to imagine this until you do. But if you're here and your tyres are facing right, you might know the tyres on the car don't just turn like that, but they slope diagonally, so they're kind of digging the floor. So when you turn left, you release the, the grip, and they roll forward, and when you turn left, the grip again. So you actually roll forward as you turn the wheel. So although you shouldn't turn with the wheel still, sometimes you can because that will make you move. And it will all make sense when, you, when you're seeing different ones. Well, so what I'll do is, if you want to turn on, I'll demonstrate the first one, and I'll get to try another two or four on this road. Okay. So, just going to on, it's a bit sunny. Right, <clears throat> that's good. So, if you didn't know, but it was just for now, just so I can do all this creeping. So, I don't have a gas pedal, as always, I can only do the clutch. So, you don't have to have the gas, but sometimes you would if it's a big, steep hill. This one is steep, but not that steep. So, before we start, what do you think most people fail on manoeuvres? There's one thing on all the manoeuvres that people get wrong more than anything else. Um, I feel like maybe you wouldn't look. Like yeah, that's good. Just that car behind, good example. That white one. Who's kind of fiddling with his stand up, whatever. That's a good example. If I'd have pulled off then, no good because I've blocked the road. Yeah. So hopefully they'll go and turn around and come back the other way. Let's see where they're going. Won't be looking to buy a house, he's looking at houses. <laughs> but um, yeah, so imagine you drive down the road, someone pulls out in front, it's really annoying and it's obviously not something you should do. So I'll give them a little bit of time to move because they might just be looking and turning around. Yep. There used to be a really good hot dog stand in this road and it used to be busy with a hot dog stand, but it's gone now. So. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that anymore. So they'll probably come out the other way. If they don't, I'll just do this one a little bit quicker. But normally you do gas clutches before or just the clutch again. Whatever method works is okay. So I'll set, there's another car now. I'll set the pedals out of this. We try and do this somewhere quiet so no one gets in the way, but everyone's coming home. So I'll set them like that. 
and look all around so you start before on the hill he's pulling checking everywhere there is that man in the van who might move off well, there's two men in the van I think but um, I think they'll be okay for now so when the handbag comes off what you got to do is turn the wheel as fast as wide as you can okay. you shouldn't have moved more than another car behind there you shouldn't have moved more than about maybe a centimetre or so on the floor before your wheels turn all the way right so the faster you turn the better the manoeuvre is if you turn too slow you'll go up the road and by the time you've turned you've already kind of you know, missed the turning point so I do my gas and my clutch looking around mm-hmm. and then big turns to the right really fast that's good that's it so it's all done and I've barely moved that's really good so I'm creeping out my clutch up and down you don't want to just go clutch up and go because the point is you creep creep crawl you go no. too fast if you do that that's it if yeah. I go clutch door oh, that's, that's good that can't appear that's good so. that's one of them out of the way so <laughs> if I do clutch up about here like this you don't want to go that fast you can eventually but you see you just go slow to begin so I do clutch up clutch down what I want is so the camber pulls us down mm-hmm. and then I'll clutch it down now the car's rolling on its own that's the camber pulling us down now it's stopped that's the tyres digging in so I do clutch up and down you want to be virtually on braking but you want to be virtually head on to the kerb so I do brake off if I don't roll clutch up down so I nudge it like that going to nudge it forwards now if you turn left about now loads of turn I'm just going to brake about now, really fast turn, and that's good. That's Sorry. it. That's good. That's it. So I'm braking there, and I come off the bike slowly. I don't think we'll roll back. We might. No, we won't. So I don't need the handbrake on. If we did roll back, we'd stop. Handbrake on. We're not going to. So the left and right, no one's going to care if we move at the moment. So we're going to reverse, which is right, and then down. Just like that. It's exactly the same as going forwards, just the other way. So same with your pedal, same stuff. So looking over your left shoulder now. Mm-hmm. That's it, and you're coming back looking for any people like that man who walked in front. Just if anyone is there, of course, you stop, but at the moment, it's pretty good. That's good looking around. When your body is roughly halfway over the road, like it's about now, you look over your right shoulder. Now, because your window's down, it's a little bit harder actually, but you want the corner of the window there mm-hmm. to be on the curb, that's when you're as far back as you can be. So, just before you get to that point, we're going to turn the wheel right all the way, okay. but not just not yet. yet. So looking forward as well, so you've got loads of room. So you could turn now, but I want to go back a little bit more. When do you reckon we're about a foot away from the kerb? Uh, I think a tiny bit more. Oh yeah, here. That's good. Yeah. So loads of turn now. I'm just doing clutch up, clutch down. So I'm rolling the car, really fast turn. That's it. Because the faster you turn, the less I've got to creep it on the clutch. All I was doing there was clutch up, down, up, down, up, down. So it kept moving to avoid joy steering. So I left, look left and look right, no one there. Mm-hmm. Into first gear. If you've done the first two parts well, this part should be easy. All I do is break off roll, and you know when you the curve at all. The wider you are, the better you've done it. So I'll pull us up just on left by that sort of new part of curb. Loads of left turn now. We'll try another two on this road. We don't do too many in the same place because it annoys people, but there's not many people living here. So loads left. So left still. Okay. And this is why you reverse, because you see how awkward it is to go forwards. So that's why you reverse the car whenever you can to park. Because going forwards, you can't get in anywhere near as well. Is that okay? That's it. Yeah. And then just want to handbrake in neutral. I'll get to do those just so you know how hard you've put them on. That's good. So on a test one, to be clear, you wouldn't normally do it and drive on. You don't stop afterwards. But this isn't a test for now. A um, few things to go over from that. But first of all, is there anything you want to check? So now the reference points, where, you, where to steer. That's the main thing you've got to get used to. But Yeah, so you, um, you're doing it till you head on yeah. and then you reverse until roughly the corner of the windows at the kerb. That's it. The reason I said it's harder with the window down is when you put it up, there's black writing on there, you line that up with the kerb. Oh, okay. Uh, but the writing is, you know, in the corner. The wipers, by the way, then when it's hot, it thinks it's raining because it, there's moisture in there, it's going to thunder later. Uh, the wipers come on because I think it's raining. In case you wonder what that is. Um, the reversing thing, just to go over this, um, you notice that time went to reverse straight away. Sometimes it won't, so what you do, it's just start going to once on the other way around. You do clutch down, reverse. Mm-hmm. Now if you won't go in, if it has gone in to begin with, the letter R is above the memory card there. So you can see it's, it's clearly in. When yeah. the handbag's down as well, it's above the silver thing like that. Yeah. Sometimes, no matter what you do, how hard you pull it, it will stick about there. It's just the way every car I've ever had, not just this one, all of them. If it doesn't go in, you go neutral, clutch up, wait about two seconds. So it resets, clutch down, wait a couple of seconds, slowly down, and if, oh, then that hasn't gone in, so now we'll go neutral, wait, and then down again, and that's gone in. When it goes in, you feel it kind of clunk back. You, you sort of, when you do, you sort of feel it go backwards quite a way. If you don't get in properly, you'll get sound like a drill going into a wall, which sounds a bit like this. It's like a, that 
So if you get that, it means the gear's not running. You don't want access to your cogs wearing away. Um, just so you know about that, but um, if you, not you do, but if you do sort of panic and try and rip it into reverse quick, it won't go in. The more you try, the more it resists. So it's better to go slower? Yeah, to that's it. You kind of slowly go over, falls in, like that. With the reverse as well, try and avoid pushing up, because some people sort of go like that. If you go up and down, it's kind of wobbling. So you want to go one, two, in. Like that. Okay. Normally works like 99 times out of 100, but sometimes it does get stuck. Uh, okay, so let's try turning the road. We'll try another two. Um, this, do you reckon this is uh, narrow, wide, medium? What do you reckon for a normal kind it of road? It looks quite wide to me. Yep, yeah, that's it. So fairly easy this one. I shouldn't sell that before you've done it. It's a fairly <laughs> easy one, but there are ones we do later on where the curb here will be where the gear stick is now. Anyway, let's give that a go. Okay. So I'll we'll talk through the first couple and I'll just tell less and less the more we do. So. Touching That's it. The first, yeah, first. That's good. Now, how would you move off on this thing of the kind of moving off we did before? Um, so it's downhill, so we don't need the gas, and we can just use the brake. Yep, that's it. And then lift off the brake. That's it. You might, you probably will need the clutch, but you won't to begin with. You might just be able to roll with the brake, like I said. Yep, so okay. brake so is on. And brake off, that's good. So, anyone around it, all your kids or whatever? No, I can't see anyone. No. So, okay. break off, clutch those down, next half comes up, you'll go flying. And I want to move a centimetre and then turn. Well, you sort of turn as soon as you move. So, oh, yeah, it's, okay. it's kind of down here, so that's it, like that. Turn, 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 turn. I mean, break just in case our car comes up. Most people go in the gym there because they're probably gym there, but just in case, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, can I keep going? Yeah. Just for example, if you're on a test, if you do pull out there and they come up, you fail for that because you've blocked them. So, you must stop for anyone who's around. Test is like Sam in real life, you wouldn't, if that van behind pulls off, you wouldn't just carry on, you've got to wait because you're the one in the way. Okay. Uh, right, so, so no back at all, it's not going to roll. Mm. What's holding you still there? Because we are on a hill, but what's stopping you? Uh, is it, oh, my clutch. That clutch, what else were there? What, what's actually digging in the floor now? The tyres. Yep, so the tyres are like that, they're digging in diagonally. So, oh, yeah. Although you're going down a hill, you're actually facing that way. Oh, so, so this is like when you get to the junction and you turn yeah. and it slows you down? That's it, is that's it like what I'm that, saying. Yeah? It won't slow you down like fully, you can't rely on steam to stop course, that'll be too late. But yeah, it does scrub off two or three miles an hour and that could be the difference between flying out or getting it good. Yes, could you remember that though, because I remember saying about steering and then steer then gear. So, um, right, anyone around now? Yes, yeah, so you've got yep. those people but they're walking away and the man but he's yep, quite far it. away. By the way, you don't sit enough for this because if you sit or you stand on going there. Also, mm -hmm. if you indicate that means someone would see it, which means you shouldn't be moving. So you never sit on when you do a turn in the road because the very fact you're signalling shows you shouldn't be doing it. Okay, so let's go. This one is about talking, but we won't do as much talking. Okay, so, so very slowly. Up. That's good. Oh. Not. Is this man in the road turning. beyond going to care or not? Uh, no, I think he's going to be okay for now. Give him a second to go because he's kind of wandering down the middle of the road. Shall I put the handbrake on because I've been on the clutch for a while? Or... Is your clutch fully down now? Yeah. Yep, so that's fine. If it's fully down, you won't burn it. It's only if it's connected a bit. Okay, that's okay then. A lot of people here seem to walk down the road. I don't know why, but it's. Maybe for some coming here, people walk down the road. Alright, okay, he's on the pavement now. That's good. Great, <laughs> so let's creep. So just a bit of clutch. Okay. It normally wouldn't do on this close to a junction, but it's a dead junction, you know, whichever comes out. That's good to so creeping and creeping. Let me know when you're getting fairly close. Mm. Oh, I'm rolling a little bit. That's good. Uh, okay, I'm quite close That's now. It. So, okay. clutch a bit of little. We'll oh. try and hand back on now. So, you try and avoid the brake because then you've got to stop and reset. So, you do a little bit of clutch now with no brake, just so it pulls forward a little bit. No. There. So what you're going to do is creep forwards but turn left just before you get straight on the road. So okay, right. that's it. If you go too fast, clutch down, but try and avoid braking because braking actually makes it harder because then you've got to stop and reset the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So checking around again. We're only checking okay. so much because you know we're talking about it. So handbrake is off. Clutch a bit a little and then turn loads left and right. Turn to left, clutch down, brake, 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 brake. That's good. Because you'll turn fast then brake and stop turning down. That's it. It is hard to coordination, but that's what this one's about. If you turn now, why is that no good? I'm not head on to the curve. Curb. It, it's got a like wind, but why can't you turn right now? Because you're about like dry steering. What, what's... Oh, because I've stopped. That's it. So what you can do in the moment is brake off, turn fast, brake on, and that might make you move. But do you need to go any more forward or is that enough? Um, I think it's probably okay because it's what, such a wide road. What's happening on the right now? 
Oh, the van. That's good. That proves it's a wide road because hopefully it'll go around. That's good. That's good stuff. Yeah, that shows how wide it is. <laughs> that van's up to that there. Okay. Yeah, so, do we need the handbike on or not? Any doubt mm, what's the best thing to do? If we're in doubt, then we do it. Yeah, that's but. it. Because you might roll forward. Is your bike on? I think it's on. Yes. Yeah, so definitely handbike on. Okay, so we do looking for that van's gone, so that's kind of handy. Mm -hmm. And then, which gear now? Now I want to go into reverse. That's it. You might sound obvious now, but people forget the gear. So it's, that didn't quite go in. Oh. So you go neutral, try once more without the clutch being reset because you've got to. So clutch up, clutch and down, down, and slowly over. That's what you don't see if you go that's, up. Here, that's where that you wasn't go. right. So you okay. go right and down. That's it. See, you kind of know that sound, it kind of goes in. All cars are different. Some go in easier than others. All cars have got their own characteristics. So, anyone around at all? No, we're okay. So, now. this time, why would you need the gas, probably? Um. Sure. So you're going up a hill. So it's all pushing up the hill. So you're all going backwards. So you're going down the hill forwards, but you're going up hill backwards. So you do a bit of gas, a bit of clutch. Just start moving off. It's the same as going forwards. It feels the same in terms of pushing. It pushes backwards, of course, but it's a sanding. There. That's good. It's actually easier to feel going back because it lifts a bit better. Okay, so hand back off and just quick back. Look at your left shoulder now. Mm. Not left one. Oh, sorry. So clutch down all the way. That's it. Thanks for roll. So we're trying to make the car roll down the hill, down the camber. So clutch up and then down. Now we don't need the gas now because you're kind of off the hill. This is confusing because the hill keeps moving. But oh, okay. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay. So braking a bit. So what do you know is you play with the brakes as the brake goes off on, off on. How much more room have you got to go back? Um, maybe like a. Them, That's maybe. it. So the aim is to steer from full left to full right without moving more than that much. So you do that by going back off on like pulse brake and so you pulse it up and down. Back off on, off on, off on and just steer really quick. The faster you turn, the better it is because then you don't have to move so much. If you turn slow, you've got to go further back. So if you just start turning and brake off immediately, but brake off then on, not all the way off, just a little bit. So you start turning right now, mm -hmm. brake off. That's it. And then break on, break off. That's it. That's it. So you keep turn, 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 turn. So you keep turning as you did break on, off. That's oh. good. That's it. And then break. That's good. It's really like trying to sort of pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. That's good. That's okay. it. And then hand break or not? I want to say no, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yes. we're on a bit of a hill, so let's put the hand back on because okay. it's rolling back there. So into one. We're not rushing, but we're going to get out of the way of the back car. So look left and right, but we know someone's there. Yeah. Gas clutch and then creep away. So clutch pretty high. That's good, off we go. So you just start normal moving away, just smooth away. That's good. We're going to pull it just after the, the silver car, because it's a purple car. So we'll go a little bit further than up. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. I was doing that's a good jump in a bit. If we pull up, because this road hasn't been here long, we used to do there, just a bit further on. Further? Yep, yeah, just a little bit more, and there's not much room in, not much curb. Because that gauge shirt will imagine that's the curb there. So we do a clutch down and just stopping around here. And then normally this looks like a weird place to do one, that's good there. Just imagine this curve there is continuous, and that drop curb over there is continuous. Mm -hmm. So the gate's shut, nothing's going to come out of in there. So this one should be no one interfering with us, unless that car comes out. So, if you don't know, hand like a neutral. So what do you think of that so far? I know we've only had one, but do you think in particular you want to go over? Oh. <laughs> There's a lot to cover there. Yeah, it was, it was a lot to think about. Um, so it's okay when you're talking me through it, but... Yeah, well, let's try without me talking much, because it's not actually that hard. A lot of the talking is just so you know certain points, but now we're not going to talk so much, we're just going to pull up, do it, and come back. Now, I know this isn't the ideal place, but when you do this, you won't always have it on this nice, quiet road. Um, in sake of the test, just so you know, for the sake of the test, you normally get this on a fairly busy road, so you won't do it on a dead end. You'll be like, a, not a bit, but a busy road, you know, like a busier road, so there's a few cars up and down, but you're not talking a dead end road like this. Okay, so one more of those, and then we're going to go back to looking at turns, and then we'll do that more later on, because we're all doing manoeuvres every now and then. Okay. So, just talk me through as much as you can on your own, and I'll just step in if I need to. Okay, um, so I want to do clutch down oh, and first gear, and then I want to, to find the biting oh, point. Maybe, oh, sorry, too high. There. That's it. Okay. That's a little bit high, not too bad, but just, that's it. So it takes around the edge, it doesn't pull too hard. Okay, um, and now I look, I think they're going to turn, so that's okay. Um, and. Is it okay? Yeah, don't have a lot of I'm just leading because I've just checked it all around. 
and That's good to um, control. use the clutch. That's it. How's the heel affecting you? Eh? Oh, That's yeah. it. That's good. But I didn't want to break. That's fine, right, because downhill you can. Downhill is fine because you can go back on, off, on, off. The other one you're going uphill, so that's why. But yeah, what do you need to do before you get there? Before you finish going forwards? I need to, to go left. That's it. So as much as you can, you don't have to go all the way. If you can, great. But how much room have you got left, do you think, in front? Uh, quite a small amount. That's it. I think, because I shouldn't on, have. On the right end. No, I've got a boy on a bike. So you might not come around the front, but uh, let's see. Nah, no, uh, is he gonna let's have a look. Yeah, so when you roll you gotta roll turn as fast as you can. You don't have to even do this at all if you want, you can just do it on the way back, that's fine. But it's just easy for you on the way forwards, because on a narrow road it wouldn't work if you don't. On a wide one honestly you don't have to do it, but let's give that a go. So um, this, um, yep. the... that's good. So you got enough, that's good. That's great. That's really good, that's fast turn. The source of this good practice, so you just try and use the whole width the, the whole um Lots of a whole area of the wheel, so you go, you can go from top to bottom like that. So you do massive scoops like that, because okay. if you do little shuffles, it's harder. But that's what we do is to develop all the steering as well. Okay, so now we want to do reverse. That's it. But before that, we just have to look everywhere. So when you go to reverse, how do people know you're going backwards? There's lights. Yeah, that's it. So imagine if you put them on now, then you look and then you make a car break, it's no good. So that happens quite often where people go reverse, look, there's a car skid into a hole, you've made them stop, which of course is no good. Okay. Yeah, anyway, let's go. So I did say less talking on this one, but there's loads to cover. Um, what are you thinking about there? I was checking if it was in yeah. or not. Is that, do you reckon or not? I'm not sure, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it is. Do you know that memory card, it should be above there? Yeah. But it's not quite. Okay, so. Off the so no, 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 so in neutral, in, that's it. And then yeah, off. That's it. If you come off then it'll jump into reverse. And okay. then you still walk off long back. Okay. That's it. It's better, I think. Yeah, most times it is fine. It's just sometimes it sort of plays up a bit. But so the rest up to you. Um so I might need some gas because we're going Oh, no, I'm going to turn. That's what I won't say. Right. I won't say right wrong because I just want to see if you can, uh, if you can work it so out. So I want to go, I want to turn quickly, but I think maybe, right, uh, <laughs> I need to. Yeah, the thing is, the thing, what don't you want to have happen? I, mean, I don't want to roll yeah, this so way. How can you avoid that? The handbrake. Yep, that's it. That's it. And then, ah, okay, right. And now I can do this. That's it. And now I'm looking for the, the white up there. It. there. That's good. And then I'm looking where this way. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's it. That's it. That's Cause good. that one you can see more at the back. You see like a whole sides and back and everything. That's good for creeping. In the mirror you can only see it behind, that's why I don't look in the mirror too much. I don't move there because I don't remind you to look. Oh sorry. Oh, I panicked because I'm rolling that's forwards it. every time. I mean, do you reckon you gotta turn? Uh, in a bit. Oops, I down break, right, right, right. That's it. So it's up dead. That's it. So you don't have to turn on the way back. Why don't you need a handbrake as well then? Um, because I'm not going to, well I'm going to roll but I want yep. to go that way. That's it, that's good. Okay. So all you can do is into one, look and roll and go. So you don't have to always turn all the way on the way back because the way back is the hardest part to do because you're not used to going back so much. But when you're rolling forwards, what was making that go, what was go forwards? Um, it was the camber yep. in the road. So how do you avoid that? I mean, that wasn't so much the camber but the hill because like, the camber like at the edge of the road but that wasn't more like the hill. Mm -hmm. the downward hill, but um, how did you avoid rolling forwards? You did it, but how did you stop it from rolling forwards? So you use your clutch yep, control, but you should do it slower than what that's I did it. at the end. So, this is only the second one you've ever done, yeah. You would do at least a day, 10, 20 of these before before yeah, you get really, really used to it. Okay, and then what now? Um, and now I want to do first gear that's and... It. If it gets too warm by the way, I'll put the aircon on, because it's quite muggy today. Okay. It's quite unpleasant. Um, yep, so there. Um, now, no around anywhere. I don't, I don't need handbrake. Right. Um, no, we're okay. I think that's so. Good. I can just off the brake. That's, that's good. That's doing better. So. That's good. So see how it's much much easier. So the car and drive now. We're going to go and look at the left turns because this will complement the left turns. Um, but that, that's the idea anyway. So by doing that, it shouldn't matter the left turns more. Um, not more easy. It should make them easier to do. So we're going to go into the road. Mm -hmm. Right, because we haven't done any rights, but it's the same sort of thing as before. Okay, go okay, right. That's it. Okay. So I'll go over this with you, but all you do is which mirrors do you think you need to check? Um, 
right mirror. Yep, so the middle of the right mirror, and then the right signal goes on. So the right signal up there now. That's it. Cuts down all the way. And just imagine that white line at the end of the road, like a turn in the road. So braking, that's good. Brake off roll. So you roll and roll. Looking, let me know where you can go. If you can go. Yeah, I yeah, think that's it's good. Okay. So it's gas smooth, off you go. And it's what I meant before, although we haven't done the right turns as a topic, you have your way and gas go, 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 go. That's it. It's also important when you come over junction and go, because you've got to pull away and get out of the way. So uh, the car behind, so let's go, 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 go. That's it, loads of gas. That's what it's about on the turn the road, you don't need the gas, but at junction you do. That's a great example. That's good. Because if you don't play reasonably quick, then um, that's what happens. Okay. Oh, so, I know where we are now. That's it. <laughs> Up. Maybe I'll just put this on because it's a bit too. Okay. Not I to it, that's it. Eventually, we do all these things on the move, like you've got to edge do the heater on the move, that kind of stuff, but for now, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, so, that's it, that's good. This will get cool in a bit. So, imagine if you had to keep out before the van, the silver van. We oh, don't, but if you do, you would just roll mm -hmm. one, hold it, going. So, it sounds a three point turn, so straddle, just keep going straddle. Okay. That's it. But if you did ask you where, you would roll up like that, one, balance and go. So the point is, everything we do from the rest of today, or from this point on, it's all the same. So whether you turn left, turn your right, give them my roundabouts, it's all the same. You're just learning different junctions, but, you know, same skill. So, quite a bit of gas. So at the end of the road, we'll go left. What I'll demonstrate it's one to get back in the swing of what we did before. Okay. And I'll get to the others after that. So, we do. That's it. When would you see that? Uh, I think now. No, 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 oh, because no. the, the road. Okay, after That's the good. road. Actually. That's, it. That's good. Yeah. So if you do no pills now, I do clutch, brake, steer. I don't do the gears just yet. I'll yeah. steer in a way. My brake is off into one. So I roll, hold it, look, and off again. Just like on a three point turn, turning away. And then lots of gas stuff again. So most junctions you get to, that's what we're going to do. So we roll, creep it, hold it, and then go. Okay. That's good. So there's a gear change, it's nice, uh, nice and early. So I think, yeah, we did this before this week. Okay, the routes will change very soon. We just stick to the same areas to begin with. But um, that's good. So what could be around the corner that could? Get in the way or could stop us. Um, buses. That's it. Often. So, anyone parked on the left or the right? Oh, yes. Yep. So, mirror, braking. Oh, Can we get mirror, right? sorry. Yep. Braking down to second. Then brake off. Clutch very soft. Just goes on there. Just no pedal. Brake first. That's it. No pedal. That's it. No clutch. That's a creep away. And then loads of right turn. That's it. No one around. That's good. There's loads of gas. That's good. It's just that uh, you've got to do maybe a little bit less braking. Because your braking is good, but if you're out that hard, you'd have to come down to one. If you try and go in two, it will stall. I didn't know that happened because I couldn't see behind that well, so I didn't want to risk anyone behind getting confused. But we're not too bothered for now about meeting situations. We'll do more of them, but it's mainly the turns in here for now. So could you get past these park cars? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah that's good. You're moving there, it's good. So the red one's moved over now, so it's all standing up and coming through. So braking a little bit because that one's quite wide. Braking, braking, then brake off roll, then no gear. Oh, that's, that's, okay. that's it. Because you already know I get that's okay. Because you're already in two, that's fine. Oh, yes, I am, um, yes. Why do you think that red car was moving around? Why is it one move around so much on this road? Why don't you um, the, the holes that's in the road. <laughs> yeah, that bike especially. So, yeah, because that car was on the wrong side of the road, but that's why it's really hard by the terms of the bumps. I should so, really try to avoid them, but. That, that's fine, that man. These are only quite small, the other side, they're quite bad, but. So, straight up the hill. This is the same road we did last time. It looks different when it's not hailing, but. That's good. So do you remember we came out that one and then went up and down and then go round and round the same block for now. And then we'll build that route up so maybe even in about half an hour or so we'll start driving to different areas. Because if you stay in the same area too long it doesn't help. You get too used to it. So the crucial thing is going to be when you turn at the bottom of the hill you've got to brake smoothly. If you brake too hard or too soft it suddenly yanks the car down or doesn't and then okay. it don't work. So it's got to be a nice gradual progressive So brake and then down a gear. Yep, yeah, but when you go in low enough speed you must come off the brake. So we do middle mirror, left mirror. Yeah. Braking quite hard. 
lots of another crit to break that record. Oh, sorry. Break it, break it hard, 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 hard. Sin or no. Down to second. That's good. Both wheels off slow. That's better. Big, big turns. I've got to turn the road. That's it. That's good. That's great. If you didn't know pills now, why can't you have your clutch down on that hill? Um, because we go really, really fast. That's it. Like this, I think we did it here last time, didn't we, where you went flying down. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you don't want it down. It would still work, you can do it, but it does pull against the brakes, you kind of, the brakes are fighting harder. So, most of it now is up to you, because that's going really well. It doesn't make quite a difference when the weather's better. But, uh, not before, you couldn't hear the, the, the car slowing down. If you take one of your senses away the hearing, it does make quite a difference. Mm, yeah, I think. I'm going to see us. Yep. It's got some far to the voice, that's good. It's that curb sticks out, I've got another. Okay, so just carry straight on. It's good. What's going on behind us now? So we've got a car following us, yep. yeah, so maybe I should. That's it. So, end of the road, we'll go left. Do you want me to demonstrate this one or do you want to give it a go? The one where you roll up and hold it? Uh, oh, is he going? Yes. Okay, yeah, then I'll try it. That's it. <laughs> that's so, good. It'd be better if no one's behind me. That's it. No, on this one, you just you got to do it so you're almost stopping too far. If anything, you want to stop next to the little silver car so okay. you're not quite getting there. You don't want to come flying up and then roll out. Okay, so mirrors and signal. That's good. Right, so I'll talk to the rest, but that was good. So um, brake so in a little bit. Brake and then change Clutch down. and no gears. So clutch down, steering, brake off roll, steering off the car. Do I not need no, to no, change? No, no, no. No, down into one. That's it, so down into one now. Now clutch it really slow. It's creeping a little bit. That's it, that's good, that's it. So we're getting nice and wide, just like on the turn in the road again. So clutch down, lots of steering, and then clutch up a little bit, that's good. And then creeping, creeping, no, that's it. It's a little bit down, so it's a little bit hard. So the hammer goes on, and then the stomach on. That needs a bit more gas, a bit less clutch, because the clutch is all too high. So a little bit of gas, a little bit of clutch. Oh, I didn't do any gas, that that's probably it. the problem. That's it. You did, I just clutch down a little too bit. You don't have to do the gas, that does help, but the clutch is the main one, because without the clutch being good, it will go wrong. But yeah, the gas does make it easier, because the more you rev, the more power you've got to play with. So, is that going to roll back, do you think, or not? Um, okay. Is that on the hill before? It might roll back, maybe a bit more. That's good. So, left and goes back on. Handbag comes off. And it's clutch up a little tiny, tiny bit of creep. That's it. Then can we go? Um, after this one, That's I think, good. probably, yes. That's great. So again, no rush, but imagine the car's coming from the right, imagine it's quite way down the road. So loads of gas, which really hard, like last time, really revving, 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 revving. That's good, that's it. That was okay, but you can even if you want to wait later than that, you can wait, but wait, the wait, then rev, 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 rev. That's better, that's it. The more you rev, the more power you've got to play with. It's always easier to kill something, of course. Why didn't I need to change down gears earlier? That's because if you did a gear then, you could have hit the silver car. So we're not okay. too close, we're getting quite close. So you did need it, that's correct, but you have to steer, then gear. You don't want to be going to one smash, what's that, that's the car you just hit. So you steer, get around the cars, then the gear. Okay. So, same again, same way. So mirrors, breaking on that. We'll leave this in the light, because that's the side road, that's good. Change down. Signal. That good, that's into which gear. That's good. Softly, softly off the pedals. That's it. That's great. That's really good. That's nice and early. That's what I mean by doing it early so you've got spare time. Yeah. That one actually would have felt a lot nicer yeah. than the rest of them have. I know another week, so we've had, like, I think we have vans behind us before. Now, that can put you off because if they're too close, you, can't, you, you, you might want to break so much. So, most of it's slips I'm going to talk about the creeping um, out of the road, but this road I'll leave up to you unless anything can use like this. I know. Or whatever. Buses. Oh, that bus. So breaking a little bit. No one behind, so that's fine. And off you go. So I'll just check the mirror there, there's no one behind at all. Um, how often should you be checking the mirrors roughly in the middle one especially? Um, quite often I think, so I, I try to, but um, sometimes yeah. I do forget. It's not even idea, it's just wondering how, I think we said before, I can't remember if you did, but there's um. a number of seconds you want to be doing them. Like at least every Is it seven. 10? Yep, that's it. So roughly every 10 ish. Um, so you check it on now. We know no one's there. So if you have to break or turn, yeah, that's all good. And you check them again about the when you get to where the blue car is, if, it, if the end of the road doesn't move anyway. So left again, so I'll talk through it, but I won't say the first few things you did in as well. So it's mirror and signal. That's it. So nothing to be given, no gas, nothing, no brake. Mm -hmm. No brake and no then change down. No. So clutch down in there again. Steering away from this car is really wide. Break off, 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 off into one. That's it. And then gas clutch a little bit. 
that's it, keep really wide from the silver, obviously, right, that's good. I know this shouldn't be part of the evidence, so that's what that's really good. So, we do steer, clutch down, then gas clutch hold. Uh, clutch up a little bit, that's it. Sorry, 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 panic. So now we've got to use the clutch up a little bit. So you've got to roll to a stop, clutch up. So you then roll, roll, balance it. Just so I couldn't turn the road. So, how that goes on. So I had to do gas there? Yep, so you just roll, roll, when it stops, gas clutch hold. Like that. Oh, so and then get to that's the it. So you're going to pop your clutch up like that. You know, all this stuff. There's no one around, I'm always looking behind to worry about that. I wouldn't let you roll back if it was dangerous, but I'll let you roll back if I can, because otherwise, if I break, you might think that's the car breaking, but it's not. Because you can have this car, it can break for you to stop you rolling back. That's always turned off, because I don't like using that, because it's too helpful. <laughs> yeah, if when you learn, you won't have that in your car, maybe, so it's not good to have that. So, clutch down all the way. Mm-hmm. It's going to come off fine, because yours might feel a bit funny there. That's good. good. So, just find that point in the gas and the clutch. A little bit higher. That's it, that's it. Oh, can we go? Yeah. yeah that's good. Okay. Just move away. That's good. Okay, this normally takes hours and hours of practice to fully get, so yeah, you won't just get it within a few goes. But if you do, it's good, but it doesn't normally happen. That's good. So I'm not going to say much about the one where you're going if you're okay with that, because I think you did the ones where you're going. Um, I'm just going to talk about the ones where you come out. At the moment it's hard because you're having to think about it, but this will all sink in so I'm subconscious. So when you walk down the road you don't have to think about how to walk. <laughs> if you try and describe the way you walk when you do it, it's very awkward to do. So, same again, second left. Um, I'll leave it to you. Break if needed. That's good. You might not have to do it, but just so you know, because you don't have to just do pedals off. Just so you know, you can do whatever you need to do at any time. God, I don't, I don't need to think you got to go pedals off and you can't press them again. So, is anyone following us on this road? No, okay. So, say if there was a car parked in a disabled bay mm-hmm. and a bus came out, you know you can break hard. Yeah, I was gonna. There's a quad bike. I was talking about quad bikes, so they're quite dangerous. Um, so we're not going to turn right if you were. That van is quite way back, so we're going to do others. If he's right on the back here, how would you turn differently? Um, so if he's like right on the bumper. I don't, would not want to. <laughs> so if you just do all the lower the he's all signal earlier, brake earlier, softer. Okay. So that's why I do mirrors, because we'll often say mirror no one there or mirror doesn't matter. But there will get times where you get like a quad bike right behind you. So end of the road left. So, it's not so close, a bit, that's good. Um, comes next. Braking, oh no, clutch. That's it, braking. steer. A bit more brake, and brake off. Which gear now? Mm-hmm. That's it, then it's steering in. So, gas clutch hold is still. No brake, that's it. Clutch a little bit, that's it. And uh, touch. That's it. That's good, that's ish. it. So, you can pretty still. Dead still, it's clutch a little bit. Yeah, there's no one around behind us, so that's fine. When can we go? Uh, yes, we That's can good. go. Should That's I good. roll normally for closer to the road? You or can, yeah, but for okay? the moment we just want to get to you still. So, because the view's so good on that one, you can just all pause quite wide back. You notice there? That's good. Early. You notice on that one we said gear, then steer, so it's not always the same. You've got to change it depending on what's happening. If you just steered, then gear, you would have started rolling back before you could steer, because you hadn't quite got enough momentum. momentum so. There's no fix for you've got to do whatever you need to do. That's why driving is hard to learn. Um, you can't just say this, then this, then this, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you might be doing it all well, the police car comes up behind you, you've got to abandon it. So my shuttle speed's not getting too high. No. I can't see again from here, but you must be careful that, so it's 30 maximum all around here. Speed we're going to talk more about, maybe today, maybe next time. So, same again. happen if you don't do the mirrors before you break? Um, there might be someone behind yep. me and I shouldn't That's it. do it. It's quite weird, but if you have a quad bar behind you, just see the man's head floating behind you. 
Um, so you might go break bang what was that? That's a bike you didn't see. So it, it shouldn't happen or they shouldn't be that close, but uh, that's what I want. So this one is cool, but when you come around the bend, just keep much more to the right because this car's good. Now there you can be much, that's your nose fine. This bit here sticks out quite bad. It's kind of hard without the lines in the middle, that's isn't it? it? <laughs> that there's got much wider than the curb. Yeah, the new idea which is coming in this year, I think, is they are removing all lines from the level roads. Um, it's supposed to make people more careful, um, so you won't have line markings much longer. As research shows, it, it's some stupid if you look, it's actually 24% more careful. I don't know how to get that, but um, that's the idea. See. But they've reached down the middle, you sort of line that up instead. So, end of the left. The order again can change, we try and do it so you steer then gear, but if you, didn't, if you need the gear at any time, do it. Yeah, if you need it, you need it. So, okay, it's a merit signal. That's it. So, brake, muscle wide, clutch down. That's it, still really wide. See, it's all in there. That's it, that's good. Wide still. Now into one, because we're not going to get there. That's good. And then gas clutch creep. That's much better. And then steering in. It's trying to balance it on the end, so just clutch down up and just hold it still on the lines. In our courses, you, you'll often, although not on this road, you'll often have to stop more than you can go. So it's much more important you can stop than you can go. That's good. That is good, so make sure you don't go one, you did it, you did it one, one, two. Just one, two, done. So if you still take it out, put it back in, take it out again, it just takes out a little bit more time. Yeah. Those gears are good. So same route just for now, we're going to change the route soon. We're also going to bring in some right turns, um, but for now, this is good. Aside from before, you have to do to begin with. Your turn. Um, mirror and signal. Yeah, that's it. So I won't go over it again. Yeah, it's up to you to do. Just um, see how good this goes. Sorry, I did it too late and then it's not too late actually, it's a little bit later, but it's okay. But then do a big ass. Sorry, I the bad thing is that you must turn, don't forget to turn in because if you don't turn, you freeze, you got the curve. I'm breaking there, there's no one around, no danger. But if you do that, I know you won't do it on your own because you won't pass the test doing that, but that's the idea of the test, and that's good too. That's good. But the main thing is you must steer, forget the rest, steer, get on the road, keep on the road, then think about the gear, the brake, everything else. I know, imagine if I hold my clutch down, lose control, just steer, keep it on the road. The clutch you down, down, doesn't matter. We get around the bend to right, can we do the gear? Gear's already good, clutch back up, keep it on the road. That's always the main thing. So, there's no danger there, otherwise I'll be breaking, but if that happens, just don't freeze, you've got to sort of steer, steer, keep on the road. Okay. But if that dog was to run out, the main thing is get out of the way of it. We don't care about speed, we just get out of the way, then think about braking or whatever. Because that one, the reason I used the bus being behind you, you don't want to go too hard. Okay, so I know. I should be in third. That's why you can teach without dual controls, and I would never do that if I was mad. So if I didn't ride then, that would be through the hedge, but you know, I'll teach it over. So, end of the road, left we go. Okay. I went so much this time, just see if you can do it on your own. Oh, it's way too early. That sounds good. The early's good, okay. Too late. What do you need now? I'm going to turn. That's it, but then we'll probably see the other one. And then I'm going to use that. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So, just go back a little bit. Because that curve has got to get the gear out a little bit earlier. We'll go over that in a second. I'll try to hold it. That's good. Okay, and now we can. That's it. That's good. Now, if there's a car there, not too bad, but it's fast, let's go. Because he's coming around the bend fairly quick in the distance. So, push really hard. That's good. Is he turning off or not? No. So we keep pushing. We haven't started down, it's fine, it's just that that's when you need to be aware of. That's it. That's why we're talking about going to different areas, because if you stand in the same area, you don't get to see much traffic. So, what that is that one there, um, I know you said before, steer gear, but that one, if you're running out of speed, you've got to get the gear done. Because the gear is the least important thing, that doesn't mean it's not important, it's just the least important. So that one, you're going to run a bit earlier, creep. Okay, not too much gas now. 
So a second left now again, just to avoid what happened before, we just break a little bit more to get more time. But it's still a two to do. Just got to be mindful that there's a car behind this time. That's good to keep breaking. That's it. That's good. That's it. So that isn't wrong the way you do it, but if you, what you're doing is you're doing second and you're doing pedal off. What you've got to do now is keep braking. So if we get to third about now, I'm not going to turn, but imagine I was turning somewhere. I'll do brake, brake, clutch down two, clutch up, still braking throughout the whole thing. Braking, 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 off. Oh, no. okay, so right, brake, I see. I, 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 so when I took my clutch off, I took the brake off and I shouldn't have done that. Like you can, but it, it pulls away because it heals in the acceleration again. This is why we do this quite a few times because it's all about momentum. It's easy when you've been doing it years, but you've got to learn about it to begin with all the, the way the hill pulls you down. Know. That bus stop there, there was someone killed about three years ago because the bus came flying down the hill, lost control and smashed through it. And um, that's what happens. The bus is down half clutches, but you know, if, if you go too fast, you lose control. That kid can never know. Okay, <laughs> he went really, really low. It made me nervous, I saw him sitting there. Most yeah. runners know, but you, you do get them when they think it's funny, they just play the game and they don't realise. So, this one. Just get one before, just before you stop, but exactly when I can't say, it depends on how you brake. So just try it again, just keep really wide that car, because you're not getting too close, but you're fairly close. So this is good, but no closer than this. So it'll steer well away. That's it. Now you've got more momentum to brake off into one. That's it, that's better. And then the rest of you. So now we need to use both to creep. That's it. Stay on. Here we go. Yes. That's good. Because that one, I was just about to say you've got more, men more momentum, leave one. But as soon as I said that, you break, so that's how it can change really quick. So, nothing wrong with that, but it's like if, if you do something just I'm saying something else, that's why it can change. That's why it's important you can do it on your own, because I can't be talking through it that quickly. That's good. So, what do you think of that so far? They want me to creep out. What do you think I can out of 10 for that? Uh, well, it's definitely improved since last time, but. So, mm. Sounds like like one is the worst, ten the best. Oh, yeah, last time I think I gave it a very low score. I'd probably give it maybe like a six, but yep. it's still hard to stop. That's it. So that will get better on every every time we do it. But go different right now. If you go straight on, it's going to go for drive to a totally different well, part of the area. So just be more of that speed again on this one. So the third all the way. Okay, where I am, I can't see, so I have to keep in mind you about that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You might know this anyway from the website, but legally, if you get caught speed, it doesn't have to do with me. Um, on lessons or whatever, it's, it's you, the driver. Just so you know, because people think it's me that gets fined, it's not. That doesn't mean I won't stop you doing it, but it's, uh, it's nothing to do with me. So, this road's pretty flat, which, which gear is best? Uh, three? No, four, four. That's four. it, it's four. Actually, no gas, no gas, no gas, no gas. So if you do any gas now, you don't need to flip it before, it's good. It's not much gas, no, but it's breaking, but it's breaking the speed. So. I can't see the speed, but I can tell it's too high. So, it's always seven gas. Because you don't need to accelerate and get four, you just get four. That will accelerate. That's the idea. When you get to fourth, it just pulls you down the hill. So, roundabout will go left first exit. Now, this way I'm doing roundabout is pretty just like doing a normal turn. So, I'll talk through it, but it's just mirrors, signal, just like a left turn. Loads of brake. If you just clutch down, down, just clutch down and stop it because that car's doing weird. So, clutch down and brake it. Do I need just to? Just stop it dead. That's it. Because this car is causing confusion. It? So, I'll come down to one. Yeah. This one in the parked car, I don't know where she's going. Do I creep or not? Not yet. just yet, just keep way back out of this. I don't know what she's doing there. So we just break off all. That's it, man. Gas clutch, didn't you say? Gas clutch creep. That's good. It's big turn. It's okay, that's isn't it? That's it. That's good. Yeah. That's big turn away. That's good. That's it. I won't say big turns because I used to say that because you didn't turn enough, and now you're turning enough. I won't be saying that. Yeah, that one, that she, she kind of parks like a. Roundabout straight, so no gas three, no gas at all. No. So it's good, you sort of roll down the hill. You don't need fourth, but if you did like before, you don't accelerate to four, that will sort of pull you down the hill. Okay, because fourth resists less. That's why I don't do fourth now, because if you got fourth now, you go flying down. So we want the main road on the left at the bottom of the hill, past where all the white vans are parked. Oh, down there, that's it. So not this little one, but the main one. Okay, so breaking. So it's up to you to do, just remember that thing we said about key braking throughout the gear change. It's a difference that makes, it's much better. It's going to hold you back. I 
much here that was not <laughs> much nicer. Um, That's it. The other way is wrong, it's just you don't always do it, it's just different, you know, different situations, different things. That's good. So, just when you get to 30, make sure you get to 4, so not much gas after that. So, 4th? That's it. So, 4th just kind of cruises Ooh. like that's it, that's good. That Wait, cruise. am that's I in That's it, that's good. Yeah. So, it cruises like that. It's because you lost a little bit of speed of run, wasn't that's okay. So, next left, not the school, but the one where the red road is. Just like a normal turn. I'm confused stay, up here. Stay, yeah, mirror to the left. Stay in fourth, break off, don't break it all. Off you go. That one, because it's so straight, you don't even break it. You okay. just keep going. No, which gear suits this better? Um, which should be in third. Yep, so it cuts down three. Zip comes off. That's got fifth. That's the third zip and cuts up. Now do a bit of gas. So things on that one, you don't do anything. You sort of mirror to the but nothing. You just go. Because the road's so straight. Not so often, okay, that's good. But no, not much gas at all. Not much at all. This view is pretty bad. That's it. When it gets better, like sort of here, back on the gas. It's just if someone comes flying down, you've got to be ready to, ready to hold back. So gas right at 30. That's it. And when you get to 30, best gear will be what? Four. Yep. That's it. Is that that's right? It. That's good. It feels like that's I'm in it. reverse. That's it. That's fine. But no, actually, no, because no, reverse was difficult to get into, yeah. wasn't it? That's, it. that's what it's deliberately it's hard to get into. So, quite a bit of gas, 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 gas. Because when you're fourth, you must get the speed up. So, now you're struggling which key you need now. Third. That's it, so that's quite three. The thing with four is you must cruise at 30. Anything below at all, get this particular car, won't go out here. Even one mile now below 30, won't have it, won't have you. So, fourth is ideal for cruising, but as soon as you're no longer cruising, fourth is no good. Now, like, no third's good, because you can't stop whilst not much gas at all. Too much, so it's rolling along as we are now. So, fourth, not good on this road because you couldn't see. If you go to four, you'd have to come back down. Okay, this particular car, it doesn't like fourth much at 30. Most do, not 99% do, but this one doesn't like it much. That's good, that's fine, that's good. That's good, that's good, okay, that's good, okay, that's good. Okay, that's it. Nothing to slow down for. The kids are fine, they're nowhere near, so you just keep going. It's good to be careful because if you're over cautious, you're sort of causing more trouble. It's our nose, no gas, but no brake. Back on the gas, off you go. I mean, the kids are seeing us, looking at us, they, they're not anywhere near us. This is where you've got to get a balance, so we're not ignoring danger, but you can't overreact to things. So, end of the road, we'll go left. Not the other one, but I'm not going to talk through it, just want to see you do it on your own. Just before the white car. Before. That's it. Just when that car behind is quite close. That's good. That's fine. A bit more. That's fine, that's good, that's it. Because okay. once you break, that's it. And if you break, you've stopped. So you can't quit. So what went wrong on the last one there? What didn't you do? Because there's one major thing missing, and then you sort of flew out the end of it. I didn't. I should have braked more yep. first that's and it. then change down. Yeah, that's what's sad about steer gear, because you're doing the gear but you haven't even slowed down. It's got a brake, brake, clutch, forget the gear. Steer, get there, get there, steer, brake off, roll, wait, one, last second, you know, three or four seconds to go, and then creep. So going forward a little bit now, it's not too close to that. It's good to stay about going forward, because normally you wouldn't part there, but it's just, if you stop like sort of like that, you've now got to reset the whole thing to, to creep forward. So if you brake, do you have to that just might be a stupid question. If you brake, do you have to put the handbrake on? If you stop dead, you don't, but why would you know? Because there's a reason why you would. But is it just the hill? Yep, so if I went brake off, I'd roll back, no good. If you're on a flat, you don't, but now if you stop dead, you've got a handbrake on so you can see your gas seat clutch. Okay. And then do that. So that one in the road, it's just all going too fast. It's all brake more, brake, 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 clutch, steer, get there, brake off roll, into one, wait, hold. Should feel very relaxed because when you come down to one, what's the maximum speed for one? I think Ten. I mentioned before, much slower than that. Five? Nope, no. Really? Yep. Yeah. It's going to be roughly. You're getting every car different, but this one. Now, when you yeah. come down to one, going up in one, you can go a lot up to like 10 maybe, but going mm. down to one, it's about like walking speed. It's about three miles an hour. So, just roughly, that bus turns off, yeah. Um, it's about this speed ish, you cut down to one. So we clutch down, get the speed, then one, that speed now, 
hold it and then go because if you come to one before you're doing roughly about uh, about 15 miles an hour so if you go to one at 15 there's no way you're ever, ever going to get first gear at 15 if you did what would happen if you went to a first gear 15 miles an hour clutch up like that would you stall yeah because you're banging the car kind of shakes on that it's not the brakes all going like that and you brush stall all over the place so you see as so you brake clutch clutch power whatever the order doesn't matter clutch down brake steer get there slow down to walking speed brake off one Wait, just have two, three seconds spare, hold it, and then go. So you just slowing it down a little bit. But let's go and get down as a go. It's going to work our way around the stage from various ones. Okay. Um. I wonder you did have any danger, but the car beyond was, you don't just come out the road by the side, so there's no danger there. But, uh, let's just see. So most of it's up to you, but I'll talk through the creepings of it. This is the thing now about the more you learn, the more you can forget. So that's why I don't push to too many new topics in one go. That's good. If I now said let's go and do roundabouts, it's too much to do in one go, so you have to sort of build up slowly. So I want to be a bit wider. Yeah. That's good as well, that's fine. So that white line is lined up with your, your bottom right windscreen corner. So a bit of oh, breaking, 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 breaking. It's good, but the thing is, you're going flying down the hill to our control speed, then to the gear. Because you're thinking about the gear too much until speed comes first, get speed good, then sort the gear away. So, a bit of braking in case. Nope, that's fine. So, when you go down the hill, when you change, what happens to the car speed? You speed up a lot, yep. don't you? So, that's the last thing you want to do. You want to do no pedal, roll, 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 get down the hill, then do the gear. Otherwise, you go flying down. Again, all you could have changed earlier and used it, the speed to advantage, but could you get through this? Uh, I think so. That's it. So, just imagine on this one, I'll try and show you a single earth in the black car, but I'm this way. No. So, if I know brake me, imagine I've got to give out to a bus. Mm -hmm. I can do what? Brake, brake, no gears, don't need it, the bus gone, off again. So, off again. No. But I leave the gear late, I didn't even have to do it. If you think Australia, we're down to two. It's too soon. So you always leave the gear last, it's the least important thing. Oh, they're still sorry. swerving around the potholes. You really scared me. <laughs> so that's in pothole going around. They're not that bad, but it's just, you know, your toys. Yeah. So straight on for a little bit. This is why they would stick around this area to begin with. But um, it's good practice. We will do right turn soon. The right turn so virtually the same thing, there's very little difference on those. Um, so we'll stop putting those in because that will mean we don't have to go around the same loop. So what's going on behind the stage? Someone's very, very no, close it. to us, I don't like it when they do this. So this is when you wouldn't break high, it's not too bad, but it's very close. He should have ever gone, so. so this is when it's important you don't go too fast, if you go fast, they'll go fast, then you can't break. So we're so carrying on just for now. It's a little bit gas, but not too much, so we can't go any faster. So yeah, second road on the left. 30 now. Yeah. Okay. So the wood is still behind, so breaking a little bit. And then and left side goes on. Still breaking, not yet. Breaking, 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 breaking. So that's it. Then see, pedals off slow. Touch it all the way. Off you go. That's good. There's no reason waving your arms go faster, we can't. Some people don't understand there are speed limits. You can't just go over them, so. Yeah. That's the point. We, we were on 30, I yep. was checking. So some people are so bad drivers they don't even know they did it wrong. So breaking a bit. That's it. That's good because now there is someone in the disabled bike, but can we get around them? Yes. Yeah, that's good. You'll get times you read red lights and people are blasting saying go, go, they don't need to stay on red. They just don't look what they're doing. It's getting nice and wide, wide, wide. So it's good there if you get very close to that curve, you can be much, much wider than that because you are your tyres kind of skimming past that curve. As you are now, that's where you want to be. Okay, it feels like I'm too far no, this way. No, this one, you've got loads of it. Yeah, okay. So not much gas at all. So it's all the same, you're doing the gear, but you're almost hitting the curve because you're doing the gear. You'll get around the bend, forget the gear, get around the corner, then do the gear because the steam is much more important than the gear. So a little bit of gas, that's good. As you are now, you're exactly in the middle of this lane. So you've got about a metre on, two feet left, two feet right, you've got loads of room. If you had your door wide open on the right, you wouldn't even hit someone coming in the way. Doesn't have much room you got. So into the road, you go left. Mm -hmm. So it sounds before. This is all mirrors again. So clutch, steer, brake off. That's it, no one back at all. Steer in the way. Let it roll down. Now into which gear. Get really well done. Which gear now? Oh, 
That's it, because we need that we're going to momentum. So we're going forward to keep straight, don't turn just yet. Now we turn, that's it, see a wider way. How many can we go? We can do it. That creep, that's good. I wanted that's to good, that's good, that's good. To that's good, that creep is good. If you want to practice how you can, that's okay. We should just start one with uh, nice and clear. Yeah, I was just trying to um, practice holding it. Yeah, I'll no, try it again. We'll go and try a different kind of rope and something. Second and left again, same rate just for now, but we'll change it soon. We're going to look at some right turns because that will help us when we're stuck doing lefts all the time. So it's up to you. It's a lot easier without someone behind being too close. This one, like for loads of him, is going, that's it. Yeah. The amount of luck if you got tons of him, because you're on a bend, it looks different. So this is good, but don't move any more left. So we know these cars are here from before. So breaking, expecting the bus to come up. If he did, you would just clutch down and stop. No, there we go. So this one is good, just keep really wide out. So that's it about there, so that's fine. So you know we need a curve at all. It's this part here you don't want to hit, so I'll wait to stick sand where the drain is. Mm -hmm. So you're nice and wide, that's fine. Pull up on the left, just after the next road on the left. Okay. As so soon as you can, wind back from that road. That's it. That's good. What do you need before you pull up there? I don't, oh, well, sometimes you signal. Yep. Should I have that's signal? That's good. That's good. Just being aware of what's around, that's good. So, no. Uh, no. That's good. Now, because I remember last time we pulled up here, we were talking about the signal, but that's good because no one's around, so you don't have to. What else do you think is well, though? It's not always wrong, because sometimes you're doing it well. It's just that you're sort of checking the mirrors, that kind of stuff. Just checking, doing all that stuff. Right, so uh, let's see. We'll leave it turned on because the air comes. If you turn off, we'll be a bit, a bit too warm. So we're now going to go over right turns, which again, not much different at all. It, it's, you're only going to learn like, one or two new things, and then just do the same as you've done until now. So when you go right, it's probably swinging like this, uh, from about there. Now coming out is pretty much the same. So let's draw these lines in like before. So something like that. There's normally an even number, but it's not quite the sky. So something like that. So all you do is on the approach, um, which mirrors to begin with? Um, middle and the right one. Yep, so and then what comes after that? Braking. Oh, before that. Oh, signal That's first it. and then it might, braking. They could be braking, depends on where the corner is, but normally mirror signal and then that manoeuvre. So, when you do your right turns, why do you think these are actually easier to creep out of than when you go left? Because there's something about the, the angle that makes them easier. Is it going to be easier for you to see what's coming? Because you don't have to turn something like That's this. That's in that turn, So yeah. you don't look. It, it, might not, it might not be easy to see, but it's easier to see if you don't normally, you just want to go straight. That's why it's easier in a way. Mm -hmm. But it's harder because you can't see the ball sometimes, it depends on where you are. So we go straight, straight, roll, creep, and then go. So I like to move on to right turns because they're actually some ways easier than lefts. But what makes them more dangerous than left turns in a way? Because you're going to be cutting across this lane. That's here. it. So easier and harder at the same time. But it's the same thing, I won't go over all this, you just roll up, look in. Go when you can, it's the same as when you turn left in terms of that. When you go into a road on the right though, this is a little bit, not harder, but it's potentially more dangerous. So, same again, so you do your mirrors, signal, how would your position be? Um, you want to be a little bit closer to the right. That's it, so what does that show people? It, it tells them with your signal that you're going to turn. Yeah, that's it. Imagine that one in front, um, you don't have to, because sometimes the road's not wide enough, but this one is fairly wide. Yeah, so it's a good point. If you see the right, then move left, it's confusing. Like that woman on the roundabout before, that's rather being careful, because she was kind of here, signaling right, but parked on the left, on the mini roundabout. So it's quite unusual. So you do mirror, signal, position. Um, what's the next thing? Um, so we want to slow down, but yep. you might have to wait 
here. That's it, that's the thing. Cars. That's good. So you approach him with gear. If you imagine you're going to go with your plans, you're going to second. Yep. But if you can't go, what would you do exactly? How would you how would you wait there? You want you will go to first. Yep. And you will use your clutch control. Yep, that's it. So this isn't really anything new. It's the same thing as before. Again, different topic, whatever. Same thing. Um, the thing with this one is it's a bit awkward to explain this again because it depends what happens. You nearly always go to one because even if the car's here, they might flash you to go, or I know they shouldn't, but they might. So they might flash you, you might think, oh, actually, I can go, and then you go in second. If you've come down to one, like here, imagine that bus or whatever lets you go for any reason, mm. and you're in one here, you know, stuck because you're going too fast for the gear you've chosen, and you're all over the place, you've got to swerve and a brake and whatever. So it's the same as when you go, when you, when you turn into a road, like you turn into a right standing, when you turn into a left side, same as when you turn into a right. The big danger, there is, I mentioned these are a bit more dangerous, is when you're here, um, what could happen is you're about to turn right. So when you're done all the approach, you're the mirror signal, you're positioned, speed's good, it's all clear, just going to turn you, what could happen from behind? Oh, uh, so another car comes, but you yep. sort of, you slow down a lot. Yeah, so that black one over to be honest for that black car, he was trying to swerve around in the stupid places. So mm. I have had times just about there actually on the other road coming the other way, where we were turning right, we'd seen all, nothing wrong at all, someone going over the hill like 50 odd and just blasted past all that, just as you're about to turn right. It's stupid and you know, it's completely their fault, but if you don't see them, you'll be dead, because the car's going to go straight through your door, kill you. Mm. So before you turn, you have a final look in the right mirror. Um, you do it when you turn left as well, but there's little chance for well, the car's never going to get down there. <laughs> the bike could, but the car's not going to pass you on the left. Not, not on this road anyway. But the bike could easily pass you on the right, and you get a lot of motorbike that can the other way just when you pull up. Um, it is their fault, it doesn't matter. If you turn and smack them off, you know, you won't forget that. So it's all mirror, mirror signal, as you normally do. Just before you turn, look into the right in the mirror. Also, look in here, because what could it be here that could stop you from going? Um. Well, there shouldn't be, but there might be cars parked. Yeah, no, that one, it's that one parked on the corner. When that bus came out of the junction, he was not struggling, but he was kind of having to think about going that parked car. Yeah, he had yep. to go a lot wider, That's didn't it. he? It could be maybe there's a bus stop around there, as there is, not on this one, but on some of them. You might go flying around smack, where you at least have to stop, and you stopped here, and these cars have to go around you. So mm -hmm. it's all about look before you leap, or look into the mirror, look into the road and then go, like on the turn in the road, you wouldn't just move off, you look around like that, then you move off, same sort of thing. Um, so, see all the topics to link together, although this isn't the turn in the road, it's the same stuff, you look in, check in, and then go in. The car behind is too close, we knew they were there, so it's no danger. If you don't know they're there, then that's when it's a danger. So, anything on those you want to go over in particular? I think, no, again, okay, I think that's it's, good. okay, so, just other things we've done, just the other way around. Yeah. Yes, I'll tell you. So I'll talk you through them to begin with, but it won't tell long before you use them. One thing you might find different is when you turn in, or you don't want to cut it, so you mustn't cut it like that. You're cutting the corner, going over the lines, obviously bad, you're going the wrong way on the road. Or don't do what you call a swan neck, which is when you go past and then turn in, you look at a swan neck shape, like that. Um, so any doubt at all, way, way back, so your bonnet's never passed, get rid of all these lines, your bonnet's never passed the half right line like that. Okay. If anything, way, way back, stop, way, creep up and then go. When you come out as well, steering you'll get used to, it feels different to steer right out of the road, but that will only take a few goes to get used to. Well, so we're going to go next road on the right, and the aim of this one now is to get the right as good as you can. Um, I've got kind of a bit of a, a surprise for you at the end, but I'll tell you that at the end, which is all to do with what we're doing now, actually. Right. That's how that goes. So, next road on the right, um, he's actually good at drive, he's pulled up to talk on his phone, which not many people bother to do, but yeah. that's good. I saw someone doing that yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So, should I signal just in case here? Because there's that road there. If you think there's any like that person on the phone, if you could move off or whatever, that's okay. But if you would communicate helpful information to anyone, it's worth doing. Okay. That's not the technical way of putting it. Where are you must look there. Yeah, that's it. I think now. That's it. So you might have checked out when I was looking in my mirror, but just to be careful. Okay, so what we do is middle mirror, right mirror. And then in all behind. So right signal goes on. Oh. That's it, stay on one for now, a little bit of gas. Okay. And just turn it. That's good. So red car behind me is okay. Then gas accelerator. Okay. That's good. That's it. So it's still actually a little bit getting you see, but yeah. that's fine. Yeah, went too far. Okay, now I should be in. That's good. 
this is the bus I was talking about. Like if you get a bus here, it can be awkward. But... So end of the road, we'll go left because that'll take us to more right turns. Now, one example here, this, this road is quite open. So what we do is we do the mirror signal left. Left. That's it. You don't have to come down to one necessarily. So looking to the right, can you see enough to go? Mm. No, There's a car now, so. Into one off. If you stop dead, what must you do now? That's it, and then you search it to get us moving. It's a shame that car was there, because you don't get many cars on that road there. But you said that one, if he wasn't there, you could have come out too. But what made that possible? What would that have been safe to come out in second? Because we said before, you don't ever come out in second. Um, it was a very wide road, yeah, so that's you could it. see everything. That's good. So, you don't do many in two, but there are some you can. Because it's wrong to say you can't come out in two, you can. Some even third, not many, but there are some you can do in third. A lot of the one before it in fourth, where it's so wide open, that view, by the score, where the road is red. We sort of went round the bend. And it's hard to remember all these roads if you're not from around it. It's hard to, to remember them all. So, end of the road, we'll go right. We're going to go, it's the route we did last week, but the other way around. So, it's going to be round around the block and turn your right to so left. The hissing noise, by the way, here kind of it sounds like a snake. It's good, it's not doing anything wrong. So I'll talk to this one, but it's essentially always said the same. So up the top. So very end, yeah, we'll go right. Okay. So mirrors, and then signal, that's good. I did the wrong mirror. That's right, that's right. So bit of braking, clips down all the way, braking more into one, brake off roll, that's it, that's good. And then just creep, and when you go, it's up to you. If you want to practice holding your gun to the computer, doesn't matter. There? Yeah, that's good. Oh, no. Let's go for that bus. That's good. Just because I know that bus turns in here, so if you don't go, it flashes to go anyway. Because um, they can't get around with us. Uh, actually, it's coming this way. Doesn't matter, he's still pulling up. Whichever way they go, it doesn't matter. You're not supposed to judge by bus numbers because it can go either way. That's good. So, next road on the right, opposite the black bin. So, we do mirrors, middle, and right mirror. Oh, right, so doing that's, that's it. That's right. So braking hard, a bit harder, 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 a bit more, a bit more. Down to second. That's good. Clutch up and keep braking. So braking, braking, braking. Can't go, so braking. Now we can go because she's turned. Back off turn. That's good. That's it. The blue car was going to come this round and he didn't. Yeah, you have to assume they're going to come that way. He's over the bus, so I shouldn't have said he was going to turn because he wasn't, but he was quite far down the road anyway. That's good. So end of the road, right. D there are no wrong mirrors, it's just you don't have to do the left mirror. So yeah. it should be sort of middle and right minimum, but there's nothing wrong with doing the other mirror as well. Just, yeah, I think I've got the east doing the, so the left one. That's why I don't stand out for too long, because it does kind of become a habit that's hard to break. So, for example here, end of the road right, so do middle and right mirror. No signal to go past this road. That's it. And then just up before, sitting in, braking, down to one and roll. So brake, back off, sit, gas control. That's good, where can we go? Uh, Is he slowing down? I don't know what he's doing. That's good because you're holding, that's good stuff. Looking for somewhere, I think. Can you go for the black one? Go. That's good. That blue one, that's good. That's it. There is that blue one coming out, be careful for that one, but they're okay. So a little bit of gas. And that kind of held back for us. So into the road we go right. So starting to get a mirror signal. Clutch down, brake in. Not even brake actually, because of the hill. That's good, so you roll and roll. And then, when can we go? Uh, no, wait, I'll just wait for this one. That's good. Just down a bit, that's good. When can we and go then there? after now I can go. That's good. Yeah, so that blue one that passed us was coming out of the junction when you pulled out, but you held back there, it's going. So normally you wouldn't go there, but we'll go over that one in a second. That's good. I'm still in first, that's it. <laughs> That's so fine. the approach we've got to do is, well stay in two just for now so make it easier. Just got to brake a bit softer because you're braking really hard and you get like a sudden deceleration. That's what makes the approach a little bit hard because you're sort of suddenly dropping the speed really low. So if we go next road on the right, so it's not now, it's all mirror signal. Braking smooth, that's good like that. So it's gradually more, gradually more, that's better. And gradually more, still expecting the worst. Is that car going to overtake behind? Mm. No, so we go. that's good. So I didn't give you much time to answer there but it's all happening quite fast. Most people are not stupid enough to have tax one turning, but some people are. And then, um, yeah, that's when you get in trouble. You should definitely not do this when you've yeah. got a learner in front of me. That's, that. that's a terrible idea. I don't know why they think of doing it. I don't know where they think they're going to go, but they just, it's not something I've ever done. You're lucky if you survive it, because 
So I imagine if I see you going around the car, turning right, you just smash into it. So these are good, just watch out for the left up blue car come out the side road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not bothering them if we were there, they'd be blasting them or whatever, but you just gotta be aware of those things. Yeah, that's it. So it's that's, smooth, that's good. Clutch, crack it and break off. And one, that's one, and first. Oh, sorry. That's it. And then gas break. And break up. Just gotta break. That's really you must break, stop dead. Because the thing is, if you don't get one early enough, if we said leave it late, but if you leave it too late, you don't get it done, you then gotta stop dead. Because okay. by the time you do, you start rolling back. So, okay. when you go, it's up to you. It's that road there where that car comes, the blue one. You sort of sneaking out just as you went, you start to come around the corner. Yeah. This is good though, because you see now you can't be trusted on the bus. I thought come down here, we didn't. That car didn't stop. So, end of the road, right? So, I'm in first now. Is that a problem? Yep, that's fine, that's good. So, mirrors, signal, touch down, break and touch. So, break off roll, and can we go? We can. Yep, that's good. I just saw the That's it. No, there's nothing wrong with anyone there because the, you know, you've only just come out the side, right? So, you don't need to get up to two. Is that car beyond coming up fast? Yeah. Yep, so that's good. That's good, so gas going through. And you will pick up the speed the more you get. You can't, I can't just say go fast, it doesn't work. So, next road on the right. That's good. I can't remember where it is. It's just opposite um, the black bin. Oh, yes, okay, so now I should slow That's down. That's it. So, signal. That's it. So, you're showing why we're going to slow down. Oh, I should have signaled first. That's that one. So, when can we go? Yeah, it's going to let us. That's it. That's good. Yeah, so it's like a mirror, signal, and then maneuver. Okay, this you have to practice, you can't just do this right away. If you did everything the first time, there'd be no point in being here. So, you saw a mirror signal, you said, look, we're going to slow down because we're turning. So, end of the road, we'll go right again. A few more of these, and then we'll just start doing lefts and rights together. Because if you get two used to one, it makes the other one go a bit wrong sometimes. So, all I can say is just prime break earlier, so you've got more time to roll. Not too sudden, because you tend to break quite suddenly, quite late. But let's keep that going. So, mirrors, no. Breaking smoother. So, okay. I'm going to walk. That's good. So, we didn't get up. I thought that was quite yeah, nice. That's fair. <laughs> I just mentioned the man in case he stepped out in front, but he's sensibly around the back. So, end of the road, we'll go right. Okay, so, so, this one again is up to you, whatever you need to do. So if you clutch it up, you get dragged. So smooth, big steering, it's very slow. Very slow. Okay. That is because you clutch that up, you get dragged down the end of the road. So if you're doing no pearls about now, nothing at all. Is that car again? No, on? So if you're not on the far left, imagine the end of the road is like here. If you clutch it up, you're just going, going, going. You can't stop. So big gas now that car behind. That's it. Bit more, bit more. That's it. It's carrying it. That's good. Sorry, I came off very fast. That's it. Just when you approach the end of the road, your clutch must be held down. Because otherwise, if you turn up, you get dragged down the end. Even if you plan to go down, down, right, make sure, then go. So, next road on the right. <laughs> so, we sit on dead brake, that's good. So, brake and quad firm, that's it, that's good. They should go in time. Yeah, that's good, that's one, that's good. That's great. Big turns, slowly away, that's good. Clutch very, very slow. So I do, that's what I was going to be saying. That's why I must do your clutch earlier, because I'll let that happen again because you've got to see what happens. If you leave the clutch down too long, you build up too much momentum. Like if you pull up, I'll grab that, but if you pull up on the right, just before the black car. Can I just... Which of the mirrors you need there? Something in the middle. Uh, right. That's it, that's good. So it's clutch for roll, no steer, no brake, I mean. So no brake, no brake, oh, roll. roll. So you roll and roll, just all well away from that junction. So you roll and roll, it's like at the end of the road. And then just... Anyway, it's all found. That is good. That's it. That's it. Because you remember earlier on we said, um, just about half an hour ago, I think, I can't remember now, um, you said about what speed you come down to one up. Three. Yeah, so that was about, by the way, ten. So if you go down to ten, that's the jump you get. The faster you go, the worse the jump will be. Not that bad, um, but your clutch should be, or how should your clutch be before you turn a corner, ideally, if you're going to turn right into a road. 
it shouldn't be the whole way down. Yep, it should be up it all the way, should be right up. So it's right up all the way, turning to the road, see so your engine disconnected, holding your back, but also giving you the power to pull forwards. Um, if it's down, what happens is you accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. You're not stalling, but it kind of jumps a bit and it rocks a bit. Um, but what happens if you went too fast, like if you went clutch down really fast into a corner, then you brought the clutch to one, you go like 20 odd. What happened then? If you pull off the clutch too quickly, you know. Yeah, so if you, you roll into a road in two, between one, mm -hmm. you went down to one, you roll down here, roll, 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 steer, round the bend, clutch up going really fast. You're going to stall. Yep, yeah, so I was going to roll, big, big stall, you know, hard, it's like a bang on the car, rocks on mad, it's horrible. Um, well, I'll just on this road, I'll demonstrate what would it feel like, because if you know, I don't think I showed you this before, I may have, but I don't think I did. So if I'm going to move off down this road, mm -hmm. I'll deliberately wrong put it in a safe way. Because okay. um, what I'll be doing is I'll be braking, but it will feel the same as if I didn't brake. If you did a clutch it too late, this is how it would feel. Because if you feel this, you can understand then what's the dangerous thing. Right, so looking back there, what else could you have done? Like when you come under down with your clutch down, you sped up too much for one, what could you have done as well? Brake a little bit. Yeah, or what else? You could brake, you could slow down and then do one. But what else could you do if it's rolling quite quickly? Move up again. Yep, so into two and then connect your clutch. So there are many options you got, it's not just one or the other, but the best way is to get a clutch up before the turn. When you turn in, it's all done. Right, so if I move off down this road, um, I don't think you moved off from this side of the road before, did we? No. No. So where would you look differently to normal? Uh, this oh, so you were going to look this side? That's it. Instead of this That's way. it. Because it's all the same to left to right, you're just flipping things the other way around, it's the same sort of thing. Yep, yeah, so mirror, mirror, blind spot. That's why we can't have that road too went too close to that. What do you do if you move off and someone comes towards you? Who would have right of way if a car's coming round the bend quickly? Then. Yep, yeah, it's awkward this because we do because the car's on their side, but we haven't because we're moving off. So they, they've got more momentum. So you wouldn't pull off and expect a car to brake and give way. They might choose to, but they wouldn't because they can't see it. Okay. So the thing is when you get moving you've got to roll, roll, be ready to brake, clock on the turn in the road, ready to stop, let them through and then go. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Okay. I'm going to pull the window and just listen for any cars because that helps quite a bit. Um, oh no, what am I doing? That was stupid. I nearly did well, something stupid and then I decided to, I nearly put the, just put the handbrake down. You could if you, if you feel brakes on, you'll slide it down the hill, so you could just sort of brake if you want. I'm all down the hill, that's up to you. I don't feel, I don't feel like this is a big enough hill. It's like that, a little that's good, hill. Yeah, that's it. It's because you mentioned that. That's it. Okay. That's it. It's because you mentioned um, you that. Know, and signal left. That's it. That's good. I know it sounds obvious, but steer left as well, because people don't steer right. That's good. That's great. Just out of interest, um, with the test centre you're going from, you start on the wrong side like that, just on a road like this. Uh, okay. So, um, whether you're testing it or not, I've got to do it all anyway, but that's good practice. Okay, so... Um, Should I move up again? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Just because I want to try and demonstrate, I won't demonstrate now because I'm not thinking thing we're doing. But uh, if you go into the road left, I'll demonstrate down that road. So, these are up to you now, I want to see how much you can do on your own. Okay. If you're not sure, let me know, but otherwise it's up to you. Something needs to be done. I don't know what it is. So, which gear? First that's it. That was it. Because that's why if you're going two, what would happen there? If you're roll out and try to go in second at that speed. If you're just stall. So you could get away with it, but getting away with it is not what you want. You want it to be controlled. Okay. So you want to be doing a bit faster if you do two, but that's why you can't do two because if you're too bad. Right. It's always good now when you get turned, it's always good. You can see one now, but on the approach, it's got to be roll one and then creep. Right, so when can we go? That's good. So the rest is really good, just gotta remember that gear. I don't know whether you forgot it or whether you thought it could be two, but... Um, I, I forgot, if, to be so, honest. <laughs> what is now, if you didn't know, put us all down. Mm -hmm. I was going to show you on this road what would happen if you get one too early. So imagine I'm going to turn into a road, no one around. I do clutch down, one too early, clutch up, you got a bang like that, stun, and then you go like that. The problem is that wouldn't be the brakes, that would be the engine slowing you down. Mm -hmm. so, so no lights. That's it, that's good to smash. Did I go over that Ooh. before? I can't remember if I did. 
No. No. It's good you said I know life seems because that's things in the sun. That's why it's yeah. going to be really bad, isn't it? People do that to stage crashes. They'll they'll get someone close to like the black got behind before. The one day is if you could go one clutch up, they're going to be paying you thousands because it's their fault. But it's not good to do that now because it's kind of sneaky. But that's how people have stage accidents and stage crashes. So the thing I'll say about Fort Surprise is how would you feel about driving yourself back to the train station? Um, well, it's not much of a surprise, up. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it it's a not go. It's a very pleasant surprise. Yeah, I so feel I like yeah. if you so, yeah. Uh, the way back, by the way, would not be the way we come out with the roundabout. Um, it's the cheese as well. It's the same way we came today without the big... The, the tight roundabout we used to do at the beginning of lessons. We won't go that way, so that's quite awkward. Okay. Um, there's only one bit I might do for you. I'll try not to, but it's a very steep hill. It doesn't look it when you get there, the road goes right up really quickly, very suddenly. Um, so what gear you want to be in for that? For it's not called the other one, three. but it's just you've got, you got to appreciate when you're going up a big hill, how's it going to affect you the way you come up to the end of the road? What's it going to do? When you're coming up to it? Yeah, imagine you're coming towards the end and it suddenly gets very steep very quickly. What's that going to do? You're going to really slow down. That's it. So you have to understand that you can be braking and suddenly the, the car slows down. It feels like I'm braking, but I'm not. It's the hill takes hold and pulls you back. Okay. So we'll go for a drive. We don't have to go straight back for a little bit of time, but um, we'll see what this car is going to do. That's the parallel parking there we mentioned before. I yeah. think they're doing that anyway. They might be turning right. Yeah, I think they're parking. Um, yeah, so there's one bit of trick, there, one tricky bit, but the rest is fairly quiet. It's quite wide roads. No parking? No. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we'll give that a go and we'll do a few of the roads around them before as well, see how that works. And uh, let's give that a go. So, the way back, what could you do on your own? What would you want to do on your own? Um, I feel like at times the going into, coming out and going into junctions has been better yep. than. That's been a lot better. better. Um, I think the clutch control actually really helped that we did at the start. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, some, for some reason in my head I feel like it's clicked this lesson. Yeah. That's good. Let's normally have a lesson on that, we all kind of come together well. Um, that was a good example of that car pulling up on the right, that was a bit awkward. That does come to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. So, what do you think has got better? Why has it got better? Um, so, Any definitely the thing? clutch control. How about the clutch, what, what's better about that? When we're moving, I think, oh, well, I've been trying to be a bit slower, <laughs> That's changing it. it. Um, and small movements rather than that's it. big ones to find the point. Yeah, that's a lot better. I don't know whether it doesn't make a big difference if you can make a difference where you drive because it was horrible last time. And it's sunny, it just kind of seemed better. Maybe not, but some people say it seems better in the sun. Yeah, it seems um, easier. <laughs> yeah, now you can hear more like the engine than that, apart from the aircon being up. Um, just a quick note about the aircon. Do you know how that can affect your car? Because I know you've done your theory, but this may not have come up on your theory. A good example of air doors with. There's loads of good examples here. <laughs> That's the woman had the door open wide. Yeah, back to the aircon now, how does that affect your car? Uh, because what you said about the clutch, you've actually done better than you think with the aircon being on. Oh, so, you, oh, that's it. You can't hear things yep. as well, can you? The, like, the biting point. It's that, but also the aircon runs off a pump, like a pump off the engine. So when your aircon is on, it's actually harder to do clutch control, which I didn't tell you before, did I believe? It's actually harder with that on, because if you put it on like that, it strains the engine more, so you've got less power. It does make a difference. Oh. No, I didn't say that because I thought it might be, it might be off, but so you've actually done better than you think, because you've done it with the, 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 the aircon being on. Strained. This particular car, it doesn't make a huge difference, but there is a difference. Some cars you can be driving along, you pull the aircon on, you'll feel the gas just goes weaker. Mm -hmm. You sort of lose power a bit because this hasn't got loads of power anyway. This car, so you lose about I do 10% of power. That's quite a bit to lose when you haven't got much to begin with. Yeah. Well, so just to explain that, if you turn the heater on the aircon, everything you turn on strains the engine more. So um, it does all have an effect on, the, on your car when you're driving. Anyway, so we're going to move off now. So most of it's up to you. I'm only going to help with one very quick thing to go over. Because this is a bit of, we've, we sort of did this before we passed it, but we didn't actually do it. The way back, you're going to have a road, which where that crash was last time. Do you remember we said the reason that crash was because, well, I think we said they came out too quick. Mm -hmm. You've yep. got two lines, yep, so two lines across the end of the road like that. I won't draw the whole thing, it's confusing, but you've got two lines there, so what does that mean? It means that you need to give way. Yep, but what does it mean you can't do if it's all... So you, that, you can't turn into this bit. So when you come out, you can actually come up in second, the view's really good, and just go, 
because mm -hmm. the, the, the degree I left, it's, um, it's a little bit easier. Even if you turn your right, if you're so good, you can see. But the crash I'm guessing was someone coming too quick and didn't see someone. They probably thought they were turning off here and they weren't. That's why the crash that but, uh, okay, so, that's it. Just so when it looks a bit weird when you get there, it looks hot, but you just come up. You can still come down to one if you want, but probably second because it's open. A lot of the one we tried earlier on, but it didn't work, so I car was there. So you come up in two, looking, 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 looking. Off you go. Anyway, let's get moving. The more. Uh, no, that's, I'll, I'll put that back on. When you pull up, I think I'll you pull put it back on. on. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, I, just, I couldn't remember yeah. doing it. Where was missing before you said Before we mentioned about it. Just a few times we're looking where as well. We need to look. That's it. Let's go. So it's okay, we just need to see. That's it. You might have been about to look there, it's just because I saw your finger going for the signal. If you guys all left him to his road a little bit, kind of wondering there. That's good. That's it. You can do that fine, it gives a loads of room for the bus. That's good. Of course, if a car was coming out, you couldn't, you know, you just stop in the first bit. But that's what I said before about there are no rules of doing this and doing that. You've got to, got to not break the rules, but you've got to bend the rules depending on what's happening. Oh no, they're okay. That's wide road. That's better as well because at the beginning you were breaking a bit too much there, but now you're more used to the width. Yep, so I'm only going to give directions. I might help with a couple of them. There's two in particular, which are, or three I can think of, that would be awkward. But, um, I just want you to do all the driving now without me doing much at all. So it's straight on past where we used to turn off. Okay. At the end I'll do the, the bay parking at the station because we haven't done yet. But... What, lines on the floor now? They weren't last week, were they? No, no, they weren't actually. Well, they didn't even have there this morning, were they? When we started, I don't know. Maybe it were, but it looked like they're brand new. Sure. Yeah. So, can I. I should go? Yep, that's good. Yep. I don't think there was a day when we started after watching the video. They look very bright, don't yeah. they? <laughs> right, just coming down here since we came here. All shiny lines. So, it doesn't mean saying they're going to get rid of them and they've just come and painted them, but <laughs> they are saying they're not going to put lines down the middle anymore. Anyway, so just to go over this one, because this one's wide open, we do middle mirror, left mirror. Left signal. Breaking a little bit down to second. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Down to two. So keep breaking through, I think. Clutch up all the way. And keep breaking that car's over, steering big. And then just break off roll. Heel it past. No pedals at all. And roll over. There you go. That's good. That's it. Well, that was nice. So it was almost one because that car almost stopped us, but it didn't. That's why we work on more next time as well, like developing the timing. That felt so, so smooth, man. that was very that was nice. Good. That was good because your braking was more progressive, you didn't suddenly brake. It's what you call a stab if you stab the brake when it goes down suddenly. So the end of this road is the one I mentioned, it's very steep. It doesn't look here, but it's very, very steep. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Don't worry too much about the side road because it's a dead, it's been knocked down for development, so not too bothered about that. Left but or right? That's it, left or so. Mirror. Left. That's it. Braking. Braking more down to one. Brake off. No braking, no braking to one. Gas clutch creep. That's good. Steering a little bit. And it's good. That's good. That's great. I'm not rushing there, but you don't get many chances there. Now it's a good chance to go, so that was great. So, anyone behind us? Yes. Yep, so let's go through. But I want to go to the next road on the right where that ballard is. Down there? That's it. So you go to the other side of the ballard, just like, you know, not where the car's coming out, the other side. Okay. So, mirror signal. No gas at all. No brake at all. Zero. Keep nice and far to the right. Throw away from the control. It's right there. Big turns. That's good. Sorry, I, I, yeah, yeah I, I, I forgot. That's what everyone does when, they, when you learn people move left because you're looking ahead, so I'm steer left, but you have to keep well over. That's good, that, 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 that is the hardest part to done. So, looking ahead, what's going on? We're just going downhill, that's oh, it. and the car. That's good, so, that's good. Like, a bit. Can you say in second, do you think, or not? Um, I think I should yeah, probably. That's good, that's right, that's good, that's good. Because second there, you saw brakes, you come off, you worked really well, that's good. So if you don't have to change up or down, that's fine. So end of the road, we're going to go ahead. I know we haven't done this yet, crossroads, but if you just stop dead for now, I'll talk through this one. But the stopping is up to you today. Should I go to first or...? Just stop dead. Just stop. 
and then we'll do all the rest. So yeah, you do need one, but not two now. So one of our now, because always talking about steer, or you can not much steering there, and then gear. So, so creep now. That's it. Just like a three point turn, turn the road sounding. I'm just going to listen for any cars. Very bad view, so clutch down, brake, can hear something. So I was here before I could see, but I keep quiet. When you reckon you can go, just um, let me know. Okay. I think now, after this, I'll go, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's how fast it can change. That's the one you go in your gas clutch, so you pull away. Right, um, no, I think. That's good. That's good. That's good. And gas, go, 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 go. That's it. So when you go, you clear the junction. The that's it. Yeah. I didn't answer straight away because I learned a car on the ride, but it's a way back, so that's good. It's much harder when you learn because you've got to kind of wait for me to respond and you know, the other way around as well. So if you go in the side of the road, next road on the left. This one. That's it. Mirror, mirror, then see them. So I don't see it in that left mirror. I'll see it in the middle one of it, but if you do need far mirror, I don't see it in that left one. Yeah, I, d I, no. I, I signalled and then looked left, so that was wrong. The more we do, the more I'll be hotter on that because at the moment I've got to watch everything you're doing, so I can't be looking in the mirrors too much. But that's good. So imagine you're in a turning road here. Um, this is actually one place you get them on test here. I've mentioned the test a few times today, which is turning out what to expect. But um, Doing one here is easy, but the other extreme, the other roads you get, where, like we mentioned, the vans and the curbs, it's much, much narrower. Yeah. So, end of the road will go on. Let me know when you see the end coming up. Because one of the most important things is you can actually see the end. Oh, yes, I see it now. That's it. So, it'd be sub to you to do, because I mentioned not the end. Right. So, okay. That's it. Okay. So, I won't say a word in this one, but it's a nice wide road. Just a little bit earlier, I was going to First. Run. That's it. And now creep a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Just breaking, that's good. Just start going to turn the road again when you creep towards the curb. When do you reckon we can go? Mm. Maybe after that. Yep, that's good. That's it. Do you want a bit then this one? Yeah, after that one's good. It's, it's good to see these because they're appearing around the bends, that's good. Okay, now we can go. That's good. I want to go and quick that's, that's good, that's good. So, just on the bottom of there, I'm talking to people watching when I said about this coming around the bends because I went to the bends on the camera. Yeah, and there's cars there, it's so all coming around the bends the other way. That's really good. So, end of the road, we go left. I went to summit again, such a. Um, yeah, let's see how we should Okay, so this should be also oh, very simple. That's it. Um, but do you need that before you go? That's it. That was good, sorry. Am I in first? Yes. That's good. Okay, we can go. That's it. That's good though because you did stay at the end of the game. I know you kind of forgot to get but that's good. If no one's behind there, I wouldn't have reminded you, but that car was behind. So just follow, we can stay in second now. Follow round to the right, and then we turn the left up to the station. The way I drive you right, or I drive you back. So just like a normal turn, sorry. That car's still behind. No, left That's good, that's great. That's good. Oh, and left here. That's it. And we can just go, can't we? That's it. That's good. That's it. Yeah, no clutch at all. This one, just keep going for now, because you'll give away. That's good. They don't have to be the one. This is awkward now. If you still do, the gas as you are is good. Nice and straight, that's good. Straight. That's it. Can we fit through? That's good. Keep left a little bit, that's good. That's it. Right, that's good. And then clutch down into one. That's it. Bit of gas clutch. Sin to the right, clutch down a tiny bit in case, can we go? A little bit slow, so it's a big bit turn, slow, 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 that's good. So a little bit quick, and then we're going to go down to the right, not back into the bay. So keep it all there, that's it, that's it. So if you pull up sort of just in the middle of all the cars, right down there, down there, down there, then, <laughs> right over there, that's it. And then just clutch down all, left a little bit now, mm -hmm. and then just going to roll forward. Yeah, the one with the hedge down here, it's very narrow. We could have stopped, but then they would have had to go and we could have both stopped. So, if you turn right all the way now, massive turns. That's good. Let's watch this car here because we can't swing towards it. This again we'll do later on in the future, but it's a bit awkward here because it's very tight to get in. But it's going to be pretty much dead on there. Mm, let's see. 
thought. That's okay. Yep, that's dead on there, and then back to the middle. That's it. And then where'd you look as you come back? Mirror. Yep, not that. Shoulder, that's it. Because in mirror you can't see as much. So you're looking at a hedge about. That'll do there. Okay. Okay, and then. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah let's turn off there. Yeah, so it would have been easier if that woman had gone or kept further over, but we could get through, there's no problem there. It's only bad if you scrape to the down side, if it's just a mirror, it doesn't matter, it's like with the, the bush. So, what do you think of all that? I'm so happy I drove back. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went okay, I think. Yeah, so from now on you can drive from the beginning, so I'll just wait in this scene, you can get in and drive from, from now. So, what would you like to do next time? Because we can, well, I don't want to say much to you, but what do you want to do? Um, so practice the things we sort of the the clutch control and the rights but also maybe yep. do the um turn in the road again yeah we didn't get to see that much because we did the turns instead but yeah that was quite good um you mentioned like here the turning the road is the same sort of thing i did when i backed us in i kind of pulled up backed us in when you command the car here if there is one there you're going to go forward creep 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 turn big that's the same sort of thing that you do so the turn the road is not just for turning around in the road it's for creeping maneuvering in general Yep, so down next time we'll do more turning the road. Um, general driving lefts and rights. You can drive from here, drive different areas. We'll go through that area, but we won't stay there um, permanently. There's one other new thing we might do as well, but I won't say what that is just yet, because that will come more next time. But yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, we'll carry on next week with that. Thank you very much. Uh, yep, yeah, that's, that's about think, it. I think that went really well. So. Yep. That's yes. good before the rain as well. Um, yeah, so pleased. Yeah. Uh, I believe I drove um, back myself. <laughs>